hey guys and girls so today i have my next installment of wish versus killstar i have been so excited to make this video you do not understand how long i have been waiting to make this video i started doing my killstar versus like chinese marketplace brand videos a month or so ago now and i ordered one item just to see like how it would go and you guys really kind of liked this series then I ordered a bunch of other items and they've taken forever to get here. So far I have reviewed two dresses from AliExpress and one dress from Wish. Now I always do love reading you guys' comments and one comment which kind of kept popping up one suggestion was to see if I could try something from Wish or AliExpress that was a knockoff of Killstar but not so much their dresses. I mean I'm a big, as you may be able to tell, like Killstar dress addict. Like most of the dresses I own are Killstar um, but Killstar do obviously sell a lot of other things now don't get me wrong I have been searching for the casket carry case on Wish and Killstar but alas I have not found it yet but one thing that did pop up was the curses chain belt now this is amazingly hilarious so when it popped up it was the picture of the Killstar one and then you scroll to the next picture and it's the picture of the actual one and i just thought it was so funny you can definitely see that someone has like taken the idea and tried to replicate it but kind of didn't understand like the subculture or the history or like the symbols behind it like they they just literally looked at it and thought okay leather belt studs circles with stars in let's make that and like quite literally that's what they made they they got a leather belt with studs and literally but stars in circles um this i uh, i cannot like describe to you how hilarious this was to me when i first saw it i went across i saw the um product photo so the one of like actually this one and i just thought like you tried like this is classic like what you order online versus what you actually get so i did actually purchase this belt along with some killstar tights um, and a killstar necklace and i was really really excited to like put this all in like one big accessories video but then as soon as they shipped it like they said all oh, your items have been shipped i got a message from the seller and they were like oh yeah we actually didn't have any of the other stuff we only had the belt so like just let us know when it arrives and we'll give you a refund for the rest of it and you know when you just think why like okay anyway so let me start with the curses chain belt so it actually wasn't too long ago that i did a full review of this curses chain belt and i will leave it up in the corner for you this belt is absolutely gorgeous i definitely have been wearing it more with maxi dresses than anything else kind of dresses which are a little bit like boxy or just have no like pure middle to them this is the perfect belt um as you can see it has held up very nicely i mean it's got a bit of a dent and a pull here where um sometimes i've eaten a bit too much bread um but yeah it is a very nicely made belt the majority of it is like a pleather material and then there is this like additional strap um, which is not attached as you can see um, well it's like attached at the like the central part um, but you can like fit your fingers through these bits um, and this kind of central belt has um, little studs on it then it has these big kind of rings and then off comes these inverted pentagrams I am definitely not a big inverted pentagram lover but at the same time there are some things where I can like I don't mind so much. I definitely am not the kind of person who'd wear like a dress with a massive inverted pentagram on the front, for example. But something like this I find relatively subtle. And the fact like that they kind of move around, I do really know why I'm justifying this. Um, but yeah, I do really like this and it does have little chains coming off. I love this chain detail. I did buy one of the kind of like pinafore kind of dresses from Killstar, which had this chain detail on them. And I loved it so much, which is why I ended up buying this belt because I just find it really flattering for my body type I've got quite like a heavy top and quite a heavy like 
hip area as well um, but I find this belt really kind of cinches me in in the waist and then the chains fall really nicely on my hips in quite like a nice elegant sort of way like they don't look boxy or too chunky so as you can see like a few months down the line this belt has held up amazing I definitely haven't been wearing this belt like all the time I've been at school and it's not something I can really wear to school um but yeah it's 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 had a few wears I can tell you that and it's definitely withstood a few kind of bloating issues um but yeah I super like this the metal has held up really nicely it's a really nice cold metal I've had no breakages or things popping off or popping undone um so yeah I'm really happy with that as for the size if you haven't um watched my previous video which I do really recommend if you're considering buying this belt um sizing is still a slight issue let me read you the little like blurb this belt is now currently 20% off so it's 18 pound to buy but I spent 23 pound on it originally um it says that it is a kind of fake leather double layer design contrasting hardware high waisted so it means it's going round your waist rather than your hips but I do not doubt this would fit round some of your ghouls hips um, and it says that it's a hundred and four centimeters in length now that was something I thought was super naughty when I got it because it is a hundred and four centimeters but as long as you count this last chunk which obviously doesn't have a hole in it so it's a bit useless um, so when I measured myself I was like oh this is gonna fit amazing and when I got it I can just about do it on the last one and even then as I said as soon as I eat a bit too much bread I'm like starting to suffocate here now um, but yeah I still really like it and it's definitely still wearable but I, I would 100% say if you are a size 14 I'm a size UK 14 if you're a size 14 air on caution um, and if you are above a size 14 just stay away unless you can find a belt extender they have not catered for plus size at all um, on the flip side though there are quite a few different settings I reckon it would quite easily fit like an extra small um, but I, I really can't give you a full comment on that just because like I'm not an extra small but I can tell you as someone who's a size large in Killstar and a UK size 14 that this does just about fit me. I was kind of bummed out in the fact that they don't offer like a plus size version. I probably would have bought the plus size version just so I had a bit more to play with when I have eaten a bit too much because at this point if that gets too tight for me I'm having to just take the belt off so maybe I should put another hole in but you know it's just something to consider. So anyway this is the cursive chain belt I am super super pleased with it but then on wish I found its counterpart and it was only seven pound and 13 pence now this is no longer called the curses chain belt it is now called the Harajuku pentagram chain stitching rivet belt woman PU punk gothic chain link metal strap fashion belt female black and uh, on inspection, it definitely isn't the Cursor's Chain Belt. Now, as for the description itself, it just says that it's 95 centimeters. So bear in mind, the Killstar one is 104 centimeters. I was thinking, goodness, this is nearly 10 centimeters smaller. Like this is 100% not going to fit me if it's nearly 10 centimeters smaller, but it does somehow um it also says that please do leave one to three centimeters different due to manual measurement make sure you check your body measurements so yeah basically i bought this belt thinking that i would just be showing it to you like ha, 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 this belt's so funny but actually it does fit me i mean it is like a tad bit tight but i think where it is generally like smaller and thinner it's not so like suffocating so let's start with the main kind of elements of this straight away the kind of leather feels very different um they, these are both fake leather but i'm gonna just say leather just kind of a generalized thing this leather feels very kind of soft um and like durable but also kind of bendy and flexible it's also been lined with a kind of like <sighs> A kind of like suede material which is pretty cool this one however um, it's been lined with a 
just a, a almost like a felt like a, a brown felt um, and then the outside is a much more like it feels like less bendy which is kind of good but at the same time it feels really like solid and rigid and like it doesn't feel like it would comfortably like move with your body like this one does now the other thing that's worth noting is the fact that killstar have stitched theirs so they've stitched it up the side just to make sure that you're not going to get any kind of fraying action whereas this one is just a plain old cut and then as you can see it's just kind of stuck on to a different backing now one thing i was quite like pleasantly shocked about was the studs i feel like the studs are like relatively similar they're pretty much the same size maybe the um wish one is spaced out slightly more um but ever so slightly the kind of main difference i mean they've got that kind of look going right where they've got a small belt on like on top of a big belt but the main difference is like whereas the killstar one the studs are kind of studded to the back of this small belt they've studded the whole thing through so you've got the kind of rivets on the back of it not necessarily an issue it just means like that bit doesn't move i don't feel like it needs to move i don't feel like having like that is a necessity but it's definitely a difference um and then obviously you can see like the thickness is a lot different so it's a much wider when you get the killstar one so perhaps if you are liking the killstar one but you're looking for something a bit thinner this could be your option which i'm going to come back to in a minute now let's get to the juicy bit which is the pentagrams so uh <laughs> yeah they kind of missed the mark a little bit with this um so the killstar one has these two like loops with the pentagram going through i can never decide if it's meant to be worn with the loops at the top so it hangs down like that or the loops at the bottom so it hangs down like this i think it's meant to be at the top i'm gonna go with at the top um but yeah that i really like they've kind of tried to do the same thing with this one but they've just used like two little plasticky um rings that actually just like hook they like hook under that kind of top belt so they're kind of really wibbly wobbly it's nothing to do with them on the back whereas the killstar one has like massive almost like screw things on the back where they've like attached their like big chunky loops so the loops definitely aren't like doing their best job and then we come to the pentagram which um yeah they, they've definitely got that right that is that's definitely a pentagram a hundred percent um i mean they've got the shape right they've got the circle um and they have got a star in the middle but to me a pentagram does not look right unless it does have the kind of cut out elements to it this just looks a bit like like it looks like something you'd find on a child's clothing i'm not sure if maybe i'm just being a bit harsh but <sighs> i don't know and the fact that they've also like done a little stamp of a tiny star in it makes no sense to me it's almost like they looked at a pentagram and thought like okay it's a star with a bit like cut out of it let's just stamp a star in and it's it's the same on both sides um yeah i definitely don't feel like this star is like made for this piece i feel like this is like a kid's necklace or like a funny medallion necklace that they sell for if you're dressing up as a gangster um and then they've just attached it and then been like oh good it's got a hole for me to put a chain through um but yeah you can be rest assured that all of the pentagrams have this strange star detail going on and i just think it is hilarious um but that is the star detail and then you've got the big chains uh the chains themselves again are a lot like thinner like all the kind of hardware is this kind of wish belt is just generally smaller in every kind of sense but like you can see the pentagrams are very different in size and then the chains i mean uh actually I mean they're not too drastic in size difference but you can definitely see that this killstar chain is a lot thicker and a lot more durable than this wish one which is just a very cheap it just looks like a necklace chain really so looking at the other kind of metal hardware features we have the um little buckles uh i have to say the buckles feel very similar in quality they both feel like relatively nice metals obviously the killstar one is a lot bigger um but yeah i'm not mad with the buckle from wish we then have the first hoop which is sewn on again very similar as you can see there is also this one which on the killstar one is adjustable but there's like a lot of as you can see it is made so that it stays in place it's not really moving unless you're putting force on it whereas the one on here just sort of moves moves around as it wishes but like overall they've pretty much got that 
got that down, that kind of design. Um, on the back though, the only thing I don't really like is the fact that they've like attached it with some random bit of metal rather than just sewing it. Um, and yeah, it's not as good quality, but it, it still works and it still has its function. And then when we come to the size options, the Killstar one definitely has, I think it has two more size options. So although I would definitely not say Killstar are inclusive when it comes to their belt, uh, which are even less inclusive. The one thing though that does really confuse me is the fact that this belt is meant to be 10 centimeters or just under 10 centimeters shorter and when I hold them up together they are quite literally nearly the same length. The um, Wish one is slightly longer and like when you put their last hole next to it as well like they're pretty much a very similar size. So I think that's basically it for the Curses chain belt. Do I think that the Killstar one is a great quality? Yes. Do I feel like Killstar could be more inclusive? Definitely. I 100% feel like they should bring out a plus size range of their belts and like accessories. So some of their belts are so gorgeous, but I think like I look at the measurements and just think that's not going to fit around me. Um, would I recommend the Wish one if you're going on a fancy dress evening? Maybe. If you want to try out the style? Maybe. But just... It doesn't give the same effect. Where it's tiny and thin, it doesn't give that like cinching in effect really as well. Saying that though, if you are looking for a thinner option, this could be your your answer because the Killstar one is quite thick and heavy. And what I'm planning to do once I've like filmed all my clips and stuff is to definitely try and remove this. Um, I'm not sure how I'm gonna do it. I think by the look of it, I should be able to like un like pull out the metal and take the chains and these weird loops off and just have a little studded belt i feel like that would be really cute i have like this really thin studded belt and um, but that's super cheap whereas this like the studs feel really nice like they it feels like a good like make it's just like this just if it didn't have the stars on it i definitely recommend it kind of thing um so yeah i think i'm going to take the stars off once i've taken a video of it and then i can just use it as like an everyday like cinching in belt um definitely something i could probably wear to school just because it, it won't have all these hanging bits on <laughs> dresses when it's like a seven pound dress versus like a 50 pound dress sometimes it does seem kind of better to go for the cheaper option but i definitely say if you are kind of lusting over this belt just pay like the 20 or in this case 18 pound because it's on sale the 18 pound rather than the seven pound i know it is quite literally just double the price but it is probably around quadruple the quality so yes i hope you enjoyed this wish versus killstar haul review 
discussion. Let me know which one would you buy? Would you still buy the Wish one? To be honest, I'm pretty pleased with the Wish one once I've modified it. I'm sure I will get some wear out of it, but it definitely doesn't quite meet the mark which the um, Curses Chain Belt does for me. So in my description below, I will leave my playlist to my other Wish versus Killstar or like AliExpress versus Killstar videos. So thank you very much for watching. If you do have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. If it's anywhere you are, I hope you're enjoying the shade and I will see you next time.